this is the Krillcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And you should subscribe because we have great deep announcer voices. Yes, leave us a like and leave us a comment on what game you think is actually the best for 2010. Gildacular! Okay. Um, <laughs> Will, what's your favorite game for 2010? Uh, I, I feel like there's a theme here, but Halo Reach! <laughs> Will not let me have any of the Halos. Halo game. Um, again, this is a great game. I... I love the fact that it was like a spin-off, but it's still a prequel, so it's still sort of in the same storyline. Um, and because it was like you realized it wasn't Master Chief's story, they were able to they change a lot of things without it feeling insulting. So they they added sprint, which I thought was really cool at the time. Um, the assassinations, which was awesome. The customized Spartans, you play like a completely different Spartan, and the changes like you can like unlock different armors and changes in the cutscenes. Which is so cool. It's still cool. Um, and I like the multiplayer. The multiplayer, unfortunately, was uh, hampered by the fact that all of the maps were done in the same locations as the campaign, so everything kind of looked the same. Um, that was the one problem, but the gameplay was still really fun. So I, I played this game uh, second only to Halo 2 in terms of hours played in a Halo game. And... I love the campaign. I like the fact that everyone dies. <laughs> so like, it, it just has a very different feel to it. Um, and there's a lot of cool uh, new weapons. There's a lot of cool new vehicles. I really like the Falcon. That's That might be... No, it definitely is my favorite UNSC flying vehicle. I, I want that back. I don't want the Hornet from Halo 3. I don't want that... Uh, what the yellow? No, what the heck is the thing in Halo Five? I don't even remember. It's, it's the Phaeton knockoff. Um, I don't know. The UNSC version of the Phaeton. I don't want that thing back. I want the, I want the uh, Falcon back. Um, yeah, it's just it's great, and I love what they've added to it recently in the Master Chief collections. So yeah, like the Mr. Chief helmet and stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's great. Um, what's funny about this game though is that I didn't even realize it was coming out. I had a friend tell me because you know like Halo Three happened, and uh, and the the game ended. That was the end of the trilogy. So I was just like, okay, I'll move on to new games, I guess. And then I had a friend in high school tell me, he's like, no, there, you know, there's a Halo Reach coming out, right? It's like, what? what? That's another one. <laughs> um, I had no idea, and yeah, it was it was really great. I this is the. Yeah, this is the only game other than Halo Two. I mean, sorry, Halo One. This is the only Halo game I did not pre-order. Again, I didn't know it was coming out. So, like, my brother was working at Best Buy at the time, and, like, there was two games left over at the end of the day. So he bought one for himself, one for me, and that was it. I, to this day, have never played the multiplayer of Halo Reach. What? I, I went from being a multiplayer crazy dude to basically a campaign-only guy. I will wreck you in multiplayer. <laughs> I did do Firefight, but that was with ODST, and I played. Oh, that the Firefight is so much. Like, okay, so there are some ODST guys who pr- definitely prefer Firefight in that game, but I, I really prefer in Halo Reach because there's a lot more customization op- options, and it just felt more fleshed out, and I like the maps better and in, in Reach. Yeah, but I, I basically never touched the multiplayer of Halo Reach, even to this to day, We're even to MCC. I don't think I've really ever touched. I might have like a couple matches, just like trying it but i ended up going back to just playing the campaign i'm basically a halo campaign guy only at this point like i do play a little bit of multiplayer but i'm mostly a campaign guy i would definitely consider myself mostly a campaign guy but there's a couple games i play a lot of the multiplayer i played a lot of the multiplayer of halo 2 uh reach and surprisingly halo 5 i play a lot of that one too yeah halo 3 and halo 2 for me that was basically it and i did some firefight in odst I really liked Firefight and ODST. That was one of my favorite favorite um, co-op multiplayer online things that you could do is the Firefight. But my favorite game from 2010 is Mass Effect 2, which took everything I loved about Mass Effect 1, made it better, and refined a lot of the gameplay characteristics that weren't so great in the original game. But the Nomad is not as good. <laughs> the Normandy? Normandy. No, no. What the heck is that freaking Land Rover thing? Oh, oh, no, it's not the Nomad. Um, man, that's exactly that's the the only name coming to my head. Is I don't it the know Nomad? Why. Shoot! Now you're making me second guess myself. 
rover. I don't think the rover is in the Mass Hammerhead? Effect, by the, way. the Mako. It's the Mako. It's Mako. Ah, oh, it was not even remotely close. I was like, man, close. no way it can't be it. That's like, what that does not sound it right. <laughs> Just I don't well. know why. That sounds so correct in my head. I have no idea why. I'm not going to say a lot about Mass Effect 2, but I will say this. I played this first, so I knew what was going to happen to the Normandy in the beginning of the game, and it had no emotional impact on me the first time I booted this game up. Then I played all of Mass Effect 1 and booted this up, and my brother said that one of his friends, when he first played Mass Effect 2, almost cried seeing what happened to the characters. Yeah thinking that they were all dead and they were going to do a new character, right? And I got that feeling almost when I played this the second time, knowing what the impact of this was. Because I had no idea who any of these characters were, and I was like, oh, who cares, whatever. Yeah, I and played then, this one at first as well, and I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I but, then after, but then after you, you play the first game and you come back to this, like this yeah. scene is so much more impactful. And I love the elusive man... I love the choices you have to make for for or against humanity to make your race species stand out in the universe. It's it's just such a great game. They refined all the shooter mechanics. They refined all of the dialogue. They refined Paragon versus you know Renegade. Everything is great. So I don't have much to say. If you've never played Mass Effect 2, there's a new version of it coming out. They've removed some uh, famous scenes from it. Butt shots. Uh, <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, this game is Hashtag worth your time. Free the butt. <laughs> free the butt. <laughs> this isn't Speaking people that, in Walmart. I will, well. I will be talking more about that in the next in the next game. <laughs> oh God! All right, as always, I'm Chris. Tell us what and you I'm liked about 2010, whether it was gaming or otherwise. Just tell us what you like about 2010. It was a great year, mm -hmm. and we will see you next Crowcast, my guys. It's 2011 now.